at what point, now I'm not being mean or pointing out anybody at this point, okay? But at what point are you going to decide that the word of God is true for you? See, you have to make that as it. No one can make that for you. No one can make you believe the word of God. You have to choose to decide. Now notice that's two decisions, okay? You have to choose to decide to let the word in. The Bible is very clear that the entrance of God's word giveth light. The entrance. See, God gives light, but you have to give it entrance. And it's the entrance of his word into you that gives light. So he can send light, but if you don't let it in you, if you don't give it entrance to you, then you won't have that light, right? And that's not on God, that's on you. So you have to decide to let the word of God in you. Now, understand, or I understand, I should say, many of you come here for physical help. You need physical healing in your body, and that's fine, and God provides it, and we deliver it. That's, that's what happens, okay? Now, but you understand that the physical healing that you need will be delivered to you through spiritual means, you get that? We're not going to give you a natural means. We're not going to give you a man-made means. Put it that way. You're not here for that. If you want that, you'd have to go to a hospital or somewhere else. But you don't get natural. Hopefully, you didn't come here for natural help. Hopefully, you came here for spiritual help that will help your natural body. Can we all agree on that? Yes. Okay. The reason I'm saying that is because for you to get spiritual help, what I deliver is spiritual medicine because his word is health and life to all their flesh. And one translation of that scripture is medicine, that his word is medicine to all your flesh. So what I deliver is spiritual medicine. But just like with physical medicine, if you won't take it, if you don't allow it to enter into you, then I am limited to what I, can, what I can do. I can get you free. I can get that sickness off you. I can get that devil out of you. Whatever it is, the problem is. We can do that, but you won't stay free. That thing can come back on you if you do not accept the entrance of God's word. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Why? Because the Bible says that the word preached didn't profit them. Why? Because they didn't mix it with faith. So faith has to be... Now, listen, I'm not saying you have to have faith to get healed. I'm saying you have to have faith to stay healed. Amen? And what I'm giving you is I can get you free, and the spiritual medicine that we're delivering to you develops, can develop faith in you in the sense that the word can be preached to you and the word can be delivered to you, but at some point you have to choose to believe it and obey it, and believing and obeying is faith. Are we all on the same page? Okay, yes. trying to take this very uh, systematically, you might say. Now, 